And we had a problem with our 265 um, the other week. We were driving along the road and the wheel fell off, believe it or not. And it turns out the hub has actually um, got worn threads on it, so, so the wheel nuts came undone. So I've got um, Dave from Listers is coming over in a bit to uh, put a new hub on this uh, tractor and the old Matty Ferguson 265. But um, I'll just um, put, show you a couple of pictures of what the uh, problem was like on the side of the road. Well, if you've seen those photographs, you realise that we had a bit of a problem with the hub the other week and it turned out all the threads were worn. So uh, Dave here has turned up to uh, put a new hub on our two, trusty 265. All right, Dave? Yes, I'm going to return one Dave, tell me, how many years of experience have you got with machinery now? Uh, Long time, isn't it? This year it will be 48 years. 48 sure. years. So I think I trust what Dave's doing. <laughs> He's going to put a new hub on here. Try and get it. Can't really see in there. You got a hub on the back, have you? Yeah, I've got a hub on the This fan's brilliant because it's going to do everything in here. There we go. Easy. Lovely. Easy. Nice and shiny. Using a new part required to put it right. There we go. So the threads won't be worn on that one, hopefully. No. Yeah. He's got to go, bearing's got to go in the middle of there, isn't it? Because I did think, yeah. oh, I could do have a go at this myself, but I thought, well, probably... There's the bearing kit that goes with it. It's all genuine stuff. Yeah. Material. Oh, look, it's got a little logo on it, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's got, got a logo. It's got a hologram on there as well, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to film Dave doing his work. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. <laughs> you're, you're a celebrity now. Huh? You're a celebrity. Oh, dear. So what's that? It's the outer that's, hub with a grease the goes. Grease See, I do use grease. There's a bit in there. I bet some of those you take off, they're dry sometimes, aren't they? You're in the middle. Hey. A lot of people don't, Richard. I try and give a bit of a grease in. Yeah. In fact, there's a video on YouTube of me greasing our muck spreader and someone put a comment, Cool, a farmer with a grease gun. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not surprised. Don't see many of those. If a lot of them have got them, Richard, you just don't use them. Yeah, they're in the shed. <laughs> I hope listeners aren't going to see this. No. <laughs> I expect you'll be able to see it eventually. Okay. So we've got the jacket up, take the weight off. So principally then what we're doing is you... Was that a bolt on the end there, isn't it? With a split pin, is it? Yeah, there's a... Was it a castle nut, they call it, is it? Basically that there is where you... When you do it out, you clamp the bearings. After they've been fitted, you clamp them and adjust the... Adjust the wheel. Right. So we jack that up and yeah, we jack it up, make it safe. And do that. We've got the handbrake on and it's in gear. I think. You do realise, Richard, this is the only tractor on the farm that's going up in value yeah. and all the rest are coming down. That is a very good point <laughs> there, Dave. Our <laughs> uh, 135 is probably quite uh, yeah. popular as well. You are jacking it up a bit more. Oh, that's it, let the loader down. Take the weight off the front as well, isn't it? See, Dave's getting his hands dirty and I'm just doing the filming, which is a bit of a cop-out really, isn't it, Dave? You get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I think I'll end up writing a book, Richard. Will you? Yeah. I hope so. You must have 40 years worth of stories, I should think. 48 years worth of stories. 
lot of stories. stories. Yeah. Life on the farm with Dave. What okay. would you call your book, Dave? I don't know really. I'd have to think about it. You'll have it. some rude words in it. I've met some characters over the years. Which are I bet sure. you have, yeah. You met Adge Cutler from the Wurzels, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. That's quite a claim to fame. Yeah. It is around here anyway. Pardon? I'm impressed with that. So these are all coming off. The old ones, we lost them in the, in the road when the wheel came off. But they, I, we had two, I think, the threads were all gone on them. It could be said, like a maintenance of Richard. Could be, couldn't it? It could be someone should have done up the wheel nut, shouldn't they? I'm not saying who. That's why I'm keeping you in employment, Dave. One mucky wheel. So there's the old hub. But I know at least one of those holes on the threads there on the. I haven't told you my fee yet, Richard. Hey, oh, it's free, isn't it? If you're on oh, telly. All, all this, all this filming. Richard. Celebrity Dave. <laughs> I know at least one of those holes there, the thread's completely gone because the bolt wouldn't even grip. Well it's uh, 1979 this tractor. So. Yeah it's a Massey Ferguson 265 with a 236 engine there. Good little reliable tractor isn't it? Yeah it is. How many of these have you changed over the years then, do you reckon? Not so many, not really, because not in comparison with them. Oh, that came sort off of pretty about. quick, didn't it? Yeah. Not so many, not really. No. Uh, of course, not many 265 tractors on the farm. Um, not, uh, not many um, two-wheel drive tractors on the farm like they were, is no, there? No, it's all four-wheel drive. So there's the hub. The old hub, anyway. You see some of the threads aren't very good in there. So you don't reuse the bearings then? Pardon? You don't reuse the bearings then? No. It's always best to put new ones yeah. on. New best practice. Put new bearings in with a new app. Yeah. I bet they've got a fair bit of wear attached to them. Well, I've been on there a while, haven't it? Yeah. 